Hello everyone and welcome to this Groovy JBTA tutorial series. In this series, we will be learning Groovy so that we can handle the different scenarios in the JMeter. And this is our first tutorial, so we will learn what is Groovy and why we are using Groovy in the JMeter. So let's begin. So what is Groovy? So Groovy is basically a JVM based scripting language that enhances Java with simpler syntax. Now why we need to use the Groovy. So Groovy is used for test automation, scripting and performance testing in JMeter. Now what are the key features which make it different from other scripting languages? So basically when we talk about this one, so we have some key features. So the first key feature is that it is simple and concise, means that you need to do a less code than Java. Secondly, it's dynamic and powerful which supports closures, collection, and reges. Then it's a high performance. So, and how it is high performing? Because it is compiled to the bytecode, making it faster than interpreted languages. Now, we need to understand why we should use Groovy in JMeter when we can use the bean shell scripting as well, right? So, you might have heard about bean shell when you're working with the JMeter. But why you should use the Groovy in the JMeter, that's the thing. So, the first thing is that, obviously, the performance. So, Groovy compiles to bytecode and runs faster. Then, secondly, the Groovy is memory efficient, which means that it will use less RAM and CPU. Then, it is JSR223 compatible, means that you can write your code because it works with this particular samplers, right? And then better Java integration, we can call Java methods and libraries easily. Now, let's go to the JMeter and write our very first code on this one. Now, you need to go to the bin folder of the JMeter and go to this jmeter.bat. Just double click on this one and run this one and it will open the JMeter. And now what you need to do is that you need to go to this test plan, right click on this one, add thread group and inside this thread group we will go here again, right click, add sampler and JSR223 sampler, click on this one and here we will be writing our script. So it's just like a hello world, simply what you need to do is that you need to type log dot info and in the small brackets you need to type so i'll say hello welcome to groovy and if i run this one it will ask to save this one and but nothing happens because in order to see this because we are logging this information so this information needs to be logged somewhere and in order to see this information, what you need to do is that you simply need to go to the options over here and open this log viewer and just scroll this up. And here, what you need to do is that you need to go to this particular line. So here, this is line 23, this one. So JSR sampler, hello, welcome to Groovy. Okay. And uh, let me. Uh, close this one and what also you can do is that you can log the warning or errors as well for your test scripts in the JMeter so simply what you need to do is that log dot warning okay and similarly I'll say this is warning now why I'm logging this because this information will be really helpful when you are working with the scripts okay and again i need to open this log viewer and i will clean this up and run this one again and here we will scroll this up and here we need to find these lines so hello welcome to groovy and again this is warning now if i scroll this on the left side here it says that this is a warning this is not the information right and in a similar way you can log the 
error okay which you supposed to fix or you need to debug right and furthermore what you can also do is that you can print the information in the console so console means that when you launch the jmeter this window will be open so this is a console and there is no information available over here right now okay so you want the information to be there so simply i will say print ln and i will provide the string this is on console okay now clear this one again and run this one and here if i scroll up you see that these two information are there but third one is not there right so if i go to this one so this information is available in the console now furthermore you can also go with the out dot print ln and this information will also be printed in the console second string in console using out dot print l let me clear this one and run this one and again you see that these informations are there in the in the log and if i go here you will see that this information got printed in the console here as well okay so basically if i summarize uh, this particular tutorial so what we have done is that we understood that what is groovy right and how we can add the sampler and how we can log the information in the which we can see in the console or in the log viewer thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial